Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to make a really quick video because I've recently been getting some comments asking me where some of my collecting supplies are from. So I just wanted to make this super quick video kind of just going over like the essentials of what I use and where you can get them. In the future, I do want to make like a more in-depth video of like literally everything I use, but I don't really have time for that right now and I'm kind of in a rush to make this video. Um, So this one is just going to go over just like my essential essentials, like just like the bare stuff that I need for collecting. So I want to keep this video short so let's just get into it okay so first things first is sleeves i use mainly three types of sleeves um this is the one that i use the most it is the dragon shield clear classic sleeves so they actually have two types of clear sleeves they have clear classic which is the ones that i use and then they have clear matte and i'm honestly like very type a about my collection like the way i see it is like i spend so much money on these cards like why would I cheap out on like what I use to display the cards if that makes sense um so I like using like really nice quality like sleeves because of that and the clear matte ones the back of the sleeve is like kind of like grainy and so you can't see in my opinion the back of the photo card as well and I like seeing the backs of my photo cards so that's why I use the clear classic ones but the clear classic ones are like a little bit more expensive um so I'm just going to link both the clear matte and the clear classic down below and you can choose like which one you want to get if you're like interested in getting these sleeves but what I like about the dragon shield sleeves is they're like thicker than like normal like just like penny sleeves that you would get in like trades and stuff like that i don't know if you can tell like they're definitely just like a bit thicker um let me show you in a photo card okay so i just got this uno photo card out and like i guess you can kind of see from this like what i like is like the photo card like stays in the sleeve and it stays like in the position that you put it in and so it looks really good in the binder because like the PCs look very uniform and not like they're moving around and stuff. If you put like photo cards in just like penny sleeves, they'll like move around. But like for this one, I can like shake it and like stuff like that. And like the photo card is like not moving. It's like staying in its place. Um, So that's why I also like these sleeves to use in my binders because it just makes everything look snatched so yeah so that's that for these dragon shield sleeves okay and here is the next set of dragon shield sleeves that i mostly use these are the white matte ones and here i can show you oh actually i can show you what i mean by matte like you know how i was talking about the clear matte ones um i don't know if you can tell but it's like kind of grainier and the reason why i don't like the matte for the clear sleeves is because like i want to see the backs of my photo cards really clearly but obviously for these i don't care because like i'm just seeing the white anyway but yeah so that's what the matte kind of looks like i don't know if you can tell like yeah um, and then this is what the front looks like. And let me just put, you know, in here so you can kind of see what it looks like. So yeah, um, I mainly just use these sleeves actually as fillers. I'll show you when we get into my actual binders. I like using these to fill in empty spots because I don't like seeing like the next page of PCs through like the clear slots in the binder pages because I'm like very particular about my layout so um i just don't like seeing through them so i'll use these white ones and put them in the sleeve so you can't see through to the other side and then i'll also use these sleeves for clear photo cards and it just like makes it look better so yeah these are the two like dragon shield sleeves that i use for my collection mainly and then lastly i use these mayday sleeves they're like by color or something like that so i'll make sure to link like the correct one below i forget the name of them but this is like the color to look for and these ones are like 125 percent thicker which is why i want this color one and these sleeves they're like a lot smaller than the dragon shield sleeves like so like if you can see here they're like much smaller and they're like more of a perfect fit for photo cards so let me show you with the you know photo card it like kind of fits it almost like perfectly and so I use these sleeves for two things. One, I'll like use them to double sleeve like really expensive and really important photo cards. And so how I do that is I will like put the photo card in this way, like from the top. And then I will take a dragon shield sleeve and I will do this. So that way it's like double sleeved and extra protected. And I think I probably only have like less than 10 photo cards that I do that for. Um, so yeah, I'm not a big double sleever, but that's what I'll use these sleeves for. And the second thing I'll use these sleeves for are for collect books. A lot of like mini collect books, the size of the pockets are like more the size of like k-pop photo cards and so like these dragon shield sleeves won't fit in those um so i'll use like these in those collect books and i'll show you that when we get to like the collect books and stuff like that yeah so those are the three types of sleeves that i basically use for my collection so yes everything will be linked below like i said before i'll link the white the clear classic and the clear matte in case you prefer like that as a cheaper option and then i will try to find the link for the mayday sleeves as well and yeah so that's all on sleeves Okay, and then as for things to put the actual photo cards into, I'll go smallest to biggest. 
So smallest is collect books. So I don't really use that many collect books, um, but here are like kind of some of the ones that I do have. I get them from a few different places. So these two ones are from AliExpress. And I think I just like type in like collect book or K-pop binder or something like that into AliExpress. Um, if I can find the links for these specific ones, I will link them down below. And then the other places you can get them through like group orders. So that's more for like specific to a certain person or a certain group. So this one is specifically for Hoshi. I don't really know actually how it works, but I'll see like group orders on it for Instagram. And I believe somebody contacts someone on K Twitter and gets it like through a manufacturer usually. So you have to join group orders for that on like either Instagram or Twitter. So that's another way you can get like a more, I guess, tailored collect book. Another way to get like a tailored collect book is I got this one at a cup sleeve event. So if you guys don't know what cup sleeve events are, there will be like fan made organizations that create cup sleeves um, at Boba's shops for like idols like birthdays or like anniversaries stuff like that and usually at those cup sleeve events there will be vendors there selling stuff um so i went to a bts cup sleeve event and somebody was selling this i'm pretty sure maybe this is probably like the name of them yeah if i can find them i'll link them down below too so that's where i got this collect book from and yeah so that's kind of where i get collect books and so as you can see like over here i had to use the little sleeves the mayday sleeves because the dragon shield ones wouldn't fit into these so that's kind of um an example of that this one also too like only the small sleeves would like fit into um but there are collect books that fit dragon shield sleeves um for example these are all put with dragon shield sleeves so this one actually does fit dragon shield sleeves and this one is another one that actually can fit dragon shield sleeves as well i actually used the white sleeves that i was showing you guys earlier and that's because i like double-sided these and so i didn't want you to be able to see the photo card from the other side peeking through and it's like almost impossible to perfectly align them so that you can't like see the other one um so that's another reason why i use like white sleeves or solid color sleeves um um, and yeah, so that's it for collect books. Okay, next is A5 binders. So I mainly only use two types of A5 binders. So this is the first type. This I get a lot of questions about. I get these from Staples. I don't know if that's just a US store, um, but I will try to find an Amazon link as well to um, the regular Staples link I use. But I like these because you can put stuff in the front. I don't really like the clear Beyond D ones. I don't know why that is. I just, I just like the look of these better. And so yeah, so this is just like a regular A5 um, one inch binder that I get from Staples. This is what the majority of my collection is because I love the A5 look. I love doing little four pocket spreads. I just, that's like my favorite thing ever. So here's an example of like the white sleeves that I use as fillers. Like I don't want to see these circle cards through to the other side. So I just put these as fillers into the pocket so you don't see through the other side. So yeah, so this is one type of A5 binder that I use. And then the other type of A5 binder I use is this one. And I don't necessarily love these, but this seems to be what the cheapest option is for a two inch um, A5 binder. So I got this one specifically from Amazon, but the link that I have, I think you can only buy a pack of five. And this is like the only one I use. So I still have four of them like sitting under my desk right now. But yeah, I don't necessarily love the look as much. And I kind of feel like the photo cards like come out a little bit more from them. So that's why I usually tend to opt for like using two of these one inch ones rather than putting it into a two inch one. But then sometimes I just like to have everything together. So like for my 80s pop collection, I just wanted all of them in one binder. Um, so that's why I use a two inch A5 for this. And so yeah, those are the two types of A5 binders I use and I will link them both down below. Okay, and then next we have the big binders. So this is like the pretty standard one. I'm pretty sure you can find like them anywhere. This one I get from Staples. Um, what I do like about these though, which you can look out for if you want, is this kind of slanted, I don't know if you know, like it's like more straight over here. And so like, I just feel like the pages lay a little bit better. And then I also like this little black tab. Usually for most binders, you'll see like two over here that you have to open. And I don't know why, it just like, sometimes it hurts my fingers and I don't like that. So I like um, finding these ones as much as possible because it's just like kind of easier to like open and close. I just, it just feels nicer. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I look for um, for the big binder. So you can look out for those too. And if I can find a link for Staples and Amazon, I will put that down below as well. So yeah, and then I can show you an example of the clear cards because I'm pretty sure these had clear cards. Where are they? Here, this is kind of an example of what I mean by like, I like putting clear cards in the white sleeves because like, imagine if like it was in a clear sleeve and you could just like see the whole other PC through the other side. I don't think that looks that good. So I just end up putting everything in the white sleeves and then you can't see 
the other side and it's still like cute and stuff so yeah that is it on the binders okay so now i'm gonna go into the actual binder sleeves like the sleeves to put into the binders so for the a5 ones i use these sleeves so this is just what it looks like i like them because they're double-sided so i can put pcs in the back over here too like if i would like to like it's on both sides um so i like these because of that and then also these have the three holes which matches perfectly with my staples binders a lot of a5 binders you'll usually see k-pop collectors have have the six holes um so this one is important because it has the three holes so it matches with my binders and yeah so this is what i use for that and it perfectly fits the dragon shield sleeves that i use and so that's also why i like using it and yeah so that is it for the a5 binder sleeves and then for the big binder sleeves i use these they're called the guardhouse shield 100 archival pages i forgot to mention for the last one but for both sleeves i always make sure it's acid free and no pvc and crystal clear is like a bonus so i'll usually look out for that too i used to actually use ultra pro sleeves but i don't know after a while i kind of didn't like how they looked as much and i thought these looked like a lot better these come in a pack of like 100 so i just bought a new pack so that's why um this one's really full let me show you what one of the sleeves looks like okay so here's an example um from the wavy seasons greeting set this is what it looks like i just i like how it's just very like pointy and uniform and it fits the dragon shield sleeves perfectly which i also like and it has like a bunch of holes so they could fit like probably a bunch of different types of binders so yeah these are what i use for my nine pockets and then i think that's actually it for the video hopefully it wasn't too long i feel like sometimes i ramble okay so those are all the supplies i use like my essentials essentials for collecting if there's any other questions you had or anything you've seen in my past videos that i didn't mention that you're curious about um you can leave a comment down below and i will try to um find you a link for whatever it is or tell you where to get it and also everything that i've mentioned in this video i will find links for and put them down in the description box below and yeah i hope it was helpful and you guys um found something that you might want to use for your collection um or learned a little bit about what you want to use um for your pcs and stuff like that and yeah i'll just catch you guys in my next one bye